Hey, and welcome back to Dead Space, everybody. So, last time we, uh... Oh. Shh, it's all right, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I... I saved this. For me, how thoughtful. So that just happened. Okay, what's to take me? Just shut up. Oh, that's terrible. I can't just leave her like that. <laughs> All better. Sort of. Anyway, um, just got the kinesis module, so now I can pick up objects. So last time, uh, a lot of bad stuff happened. Ooh, flamethrower. Might want to use that. Isaac, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. Communication is useless in all this static. We gonna find you, Nicole. We gonna find you. So yeah, I might, I'm not going to just use the plasma cutter. I'm going to use, at least fill all four weapons slots. Have an alternate firing mode. But I will keep the plasma cutter, because that is like the go-to gun in this game. I'm sorry, these aren't really guns or weapons. They're more, more like just mining tools. But still very effective for like dismemberment. Okay, I remember taking biology, but this looks messed up on so many levels. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Okay, I'm a little more prepared this time. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Don't get cocky, kid, though. That's how, that's how heroes die. Well, that's the last of them. So yeah, when it's in quarantine mode, Pretty much, you have to kill all of the necromorphs to end it. I don't see why you're hating from the from the outside. You can't even get in. Oh shit! I, I should stop mocking these creatures. They're they're actually a lot more resourceful than I give them credit for. I finally Oh jeez. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh God. The believer within me wants to become one of them. That scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. 
I need to witness this affection person. Perhaps the patient from the cup. Books are power, books are knowledge. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's books are the best the weapon. Point, God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You choose that. God knows this is way. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Well, people are dying down there. Huge. Is this man? Transformation Unitology teaches it? Doctor. There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. Man, you don't even understand. Kine was speaking the truth. You were just being... Whatever. Okay, so I definitely want to drop that and pick this up. So, I think I handled that pretty well, considering. I mean, right now it's just like the slasher variants of Necromorphs, but I believe there's a lot more later on. What does this say? I can't read that. Is there anything else in- nope. God, that was... That blew my mind, like that episode, that last episode of Game of Thrones. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Hint, hint. Oh, jeez! Bad baby! You little mister need a timeout. So disturbing though when you really think about it though. Baby morphs. Or whatever. <laughs> but not only that, they have tentacles. They have three barbed tentacles. I was hesitating. I was just... Oh, I wasn't really hesitating. I was just trying to aim. Because I remember the first part, I was like, had so much trouble hitting that one leaper. That was costing me so much ammo. Ridiculous. Alright, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shark pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Oh, I'm sorry, that something big is probably a bowel movement, like a huge one. I'm sorry. This place is making me jumpy. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the... well... 
I might not even get the flame tower. What should I get? Hmm. You know, I'll sell a few things and then. The pulse rifle might be good, but the flame... I really want to kill things with fire, like in the thing. Hmm. Actually, I'll make my decision later. Hey guy, are you... you okay? I'll take that as a yes. Oof. God. Medical log, Dr. Warwick B. Chief Psych Officer, Report of Psychiatric Observation Patient, Harris B. Employee, Harris is asleep. After another strong sedative, he seems literally literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd. He can't even. <laughs> and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planetside security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans, and he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and stringent, displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he will kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet a most intriguing case. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. The worst mess up than the mind Whoa. Where'd you come from? Do you? <sighs> hate these things. I hate the leapers in particular. They're just so creepy. The way they just crawl around on their forelimbs and their scorpion-like tail and their... hate them. Oh, that's... Oof. Leave this poor unfortunate soul alone. You heathen. Oh, I totally just stomped that guy's arm off. Sorry. Okay, I am gonna get a suit upgrade after this because I need more inventory slots. This is not help working out. I need a suit with benefits. Yeah. Hey! 
Hey! Oh, Jesus! Okay, I definitely want to pick that up. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Marker? It's so divine. I hear it's divine. You think it's divine? That's good. Why don't you join us at the Church of Unitology? Bunch of rock worshippers. Can't pick that up, darn it. Ooh, 10,000 credits. I will take that. Should probably get back into an area with oxygen. As you know, Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. The grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Ah, oh, hells yes, it's like the movie Gravity. I really want to go into space. I don't know about y'all, but I would love to go into space. Without this scenario, though. Like, God forbid that there are actually necromorphs or any kind of alien species like that. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Checking zero gravity. <laughs> Gotta conceal, don't feel. I mean, conserve ammo, don't. Whatever. Is that the only. There's only two of them? Okay, good. Just had to. Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold it back anymore. In space, nobody can hear you scream like a little bitch. <laughs> Sorry, that was really aggressive. I apologize. This game just, you know, brings out the worst out of me sometimes. By the way, speaking of aliens, or, you know, has, has anybody seen the trailer for Alien Isolation? That actually looks really good. I didn't play Alien... Colonial Aliens Colonial Marines though. I heard it wasn't, you know, good, so but then again, I haven't actually seen the alien movies either, but I'm really interested in them. I just want to know what your thoughts are about them. I have seen Alien vs. Predator, both both the movies. But I haven't seen the actual alien movie series. But yeah, as I was saying, Isolation actually looks really interesting, because it's like... I don't think you can use weapons, at least against the single alien that's in the game, and it's like, supposed to have really impressive AI, too. Ooh, these... I don't like these things. Should not stick around. Ah, get her off me! Get her off me! Ah, get off me, Jesus! <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but... Maybe I should get a flamethrower, because... Having to shoot these little things individually is not fun. Ow! 
I don't know why I said, get off me, ah, get off me, Jesus. To quote, to quote Fry from Futurama, I think one time he mentioned, wow, I feel like I was mauled by Jesus. That pertains to this situation right now. Shut up and take my money. Get that. I'll get a level 2 suit while I'm at it. You know, as much as I'd like to squeeze in, like, a chapter each part, I think that's going to be impossible because some of the later chapters are going to be, like, probably an hour and 30 minutes, and I don't want to have to make a part an hour and 30 minutes because that would take forever to upload. So, uh, I guess I'm going to cut it off here, but I will continue, and once again, everybody, I will... Want <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm so startled.